Hi guys, welcome to a new video. And in the interest of fairness, since I've got quite a bit of criticism lately, I thought I'd redo a lens sharpness test that I've been running. I've been doing the um, 600 RF f11 lens, as well as the Sigma 150 to 600 EF lens. Uh, contemporary as well as the Canon 100 to 400 with the 1.4 Mark 3 extender. Uh, the 100 to 400 is a Mark 2 lens. So I'll just show you the test. We're going to do it at ISO 400 f11. Shutter speed around 1 15 second. We're going to use the um, Canon app on my phone so there's no camera shake at all. Turn to stabilization completely off and we'll see about sharpness in this test. So let's have a look. Here you can see the lens sharpness test um, sheet that we're having a look at. That's the one in the, at the top that we're looking at. And obviously we've got the light box here. And if you move over, you can see we've got our two lenses and the camera set up. So without a further ado, I want to have a look at sharpness. And I'll, we'll upload a new video to have a look at that sharpness and have a look and see how sharp this RF lens is compared to the other two. As you can see, I've got the um, Connect app on my phone, and we're going to do this test remotely from some distance. So if we just go back a little bit, should be able to take a picture, and um, without any camera shake. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the studio. We're rerunning this test. Because, let's just say a few people weren't so happy with the results. Um, so, I've decided to rerun this test. Again, it's the lens um, sharpness test that I'm doing here. But what I've decided to do is do, run it at ISO 400, F11, and the shutter speed is set to 1 15th of a second. But we've been using the Connect app on my Android phone to eliminate all possibility of camera shake. We've also turned off all stabilization for all three lenses. And this is the result of this test. So, without further ado, let's just have a quick comparison. Just by looking at uh, the straightness of the sheet that I've um, leveled it at, and you'll be able to see the quality. Um, so that is the Sigma 150 to 600. It looks quite good. So let's have a look at the Canon uh, 100 to 400 Mark II with the 1.4 extender at 560 millimeters. Again, ISO 400, f11, and 115th shutter speed. So again, we've leveled it as much as possible and it looks fairly good. We've done the same for the next one which is the 600 RF. Let's have a look at that. Again, I've leveled it and made it as straight as possible and again you can see it's not that sharp. Is there a possibility there's a problem with the lens? Possibly. Um, I would have to get another copy to verify that. Anyway, let's go back to the Sigma 150 to 600 and go in there to 100%. So that's the image we're getting at 100% at ISO 400. As you can see, it looks clean, it looks nice, and it looks fairly sharp. Let's look at the Canon one, the uh, EF 100 to 400. Now that's at 100%, looks nice and sharp and clean, um, and you can see the detail even in the paper. So I think it's rendering a good result. Now let's have a look at the RF 600 at 100%. And there you go, that is the result from the RF 600. We're approximately um, between 3 meters to 4.5 meters away because uh, the minimum focus on the RF 600 is 4.5 meters. Obviously, your results outside in the real world may vary, 
and may be different to this result. But just take this with a pinch of salt. I'm not saying what I'm doing is a defi de definitive result, but you can make up your own mind at looking at the sharpness. But let's have a look in the corners. So let's have a look at the corner on the 150-600. This is the left um, bottom corner. And we seem to get good detail. Let's have a look at the cannon in the bottom left corner. Seems to render good detail. I still prefer the Sigma in terms of the detail. And let's have a look at the RF 600 on the R6 mirrorless camera, 20 megapixel camera, 100%. And we're looking there and it seems quite soft on the RF 600. So let's go back to the Canon. Uh, sorry, the Sigma 150 to 600. Let's go up to the top corner. Let's have a look at the sharpness there. Seems to be giving us good detail. Let's have a look in the 100 to 400 in the top. While it doesn't seem as sharp to me, it is rendering good detail. So let's have a look in the RF from the bottom left corner to the top left corner. And to my eye, it doesn't seem that sharp to me. Make up your own mind up. I'm not forcing you to take on board what I've said, um, but I'm just giving you this as an example. So let's go back to the 150 to 600 and look in the right top corner. As you can see, it seems to be rendering good detail. Uh, let's have a look at the 100 to 400 now in the same area. Top right corner and um, seems to be rendering good detail. Let's have a look in the RF um, 600. Let's just go over to the top right corner. That's what the lens is rendering in terms of quality. Again, they just seem quite soft to me. In general, it seems to, to be quite soft. Well, that's my opinion. So let's go back to the Sigma 150 to 600 and go down to the bottom right corner. So the bottom right corner there is rendering that result, which seems quite sharp and clear to me. So let's have a look with the 100 to 400 in the same area with the 1.4 extender. We're in the bottom right corner. And again, it seems to be rendering good detail, even with the 1.4 extender on there at 560 millimeters. Let's have a look in the same area with the RF 600 millimeter lens. So let's go down to the bottom right corner. And again, it doesn't seem that sharp to me. So Obviously you can see the result there and make your own mind up. I'm not forcing you to tick and board what I've said, but you know, leave a comment in the comments box how you perceive the lens performing. Um, so if we go fit to screen, fit to screen, fit to screen. Now these are JPEG images, not RAW, because my computer is only able to process the new RAW files at present because I may need to upgrade my computer uh, for that. Because uh, we, use, I am using Photoshop CS6. That's the package I use. Um, so you know, if we just go into there by, I mean, if we just zoom in by uh, fifty percent, that's the one hundred to fifty, uh, one fifty to six hundred Sigma lens contemporary. Let's do the same for the Canon one hundred to four hundred with one point four extender it still looks like it's producing good results and let's have a look at the RF 600 this is where I'm disappointed it just doesn't look sharp to me guys it's just not that sharp um, I may reach out to Canon and ask them what they think um, but it just doesn't seem to be on the same level playing field as the Sigma 150 to 600 contemporary or either the one 100 to 400 with the Mat 2 um, extender, not the Mat, sorry, not the Mat 2, the Mat 3 extender 
So, that's the end of this. Let me know what you think. But it just doesn't seem to be producing sharp images. I'm going to have a look at the 800 and see how that does. But I suspect it will be sharper than this. Um, but, you know, thanks for watching and have a nice day. So, guys, you've seen the examples. And you can clearly see the RF600 lens isn't that sharp. It's not just me saying that, though. Um, I believe Chelsea Northrop has also stated that the RF600 isn't as sharp as the 800. I'll, I'll find that out at some point when I do a new, a new set of tests. But, it's a bit of a letdown, this uh, RF lens, I must admit. Um, it's light, stabilisation is fantastic, for video work it's brilliant, but for sharpness in photos, I'm left quite disappointed. Um, so guys, instead of giving me some hate, just look at the examples and don't take my word for it. You know, you can use your own eyes and make up your own mind up. Anyway, see you in another video. Bye bye.